Warning, spoilers ahead. Fans had been eagerly waiting for the season 4 premiere of Yellowstone after the bloody massacre that was the season 3 finale. And while many of us held our breath as the fate of the Duttons was revealed one by one, it was actually another character who ended up leaving the show. Rourke. Josh Holloway, who played Rourke, wasn't as lucky as the Duttons as the character met his maker towards the end of the two-hour explosive season 4 premiere. While some fans were thrilled and others weren't, everyone was shocked at Rourke's death. Which leads to the question, why did Rourke leave Yellowstone? Yellowstone returns to Paramount Studios after more than a year. Everybody pays. The season 4 trailer for Paramount's beloved drama Yellowstone sends an ominous message for what lies ahead in the series. Fans were left scrambling after the unexpected twist towards the end of the season 3 in which all of the Duttons seem to have been left for dead. While being a pretty dysfunctional family, fans found a soft spot in their hearts for the ranchers who seem to have been trying to get by despite all the interferences in their way, one of them being Rourke Morris. The character was introduced at the start of season 3 and screamed trouble right from the get-go. From hiring the Dutton family patriarch John Dutton's arch nemesis to trying to take over his land and setting his eyes on Beth, fans had little positive things to say about Rourke Morris. But did we expect the character to die right in the premiere? Well, two hours into it, but still. Josh Holloway's character's death stunned fans of the show, and here's everything that we know about it. Kicking off Season 4, What Happened to the Duttons Everyone's favorite Western melodrama returned on Sunday evening with a two-hour premiere which revealed the fate of the Duttons. Paramount Studios with a hand from the pandemic had been keeping fans at the edge of their seats for over a year after the cliffhanger in the Season 3 finale. John and Casey had been shot at, Beth appeared to have been blown to bits, and Jimmy had been left in a deadly bind. Fans waited an entire year to confirm which one of their favorite characters would meet their demise. Surely one of them had to die, right? Well, someone did die, but it wasn't from the Dutton family. John, Casey, Beth, and Jimmy all made it out with a few cuts and bruises, but Rourke was left foaming at the mouth towards the end of the episode, a character death that no one saw coming. Who killed Rourke? Well, to say that the season 4 premiere was explosive would be an understatement. The premiere ran for all of two hours with the fate of every character being revealed one by one. And while everyone prayed for the Duttons to make it out safe and sound, Rourke was left at Rip Wheeler's mercy as the latter took him out towards the end of the premiere. Rip Wheeler, played by Cole Hauser, took out the show's main antagonist in the most brutal way possible. Now you would think that a bullet to the heart would have been enough, but Rip wanted to make Rourke suffer in the same agony he had put his loved ones through. And if you know anything about Rip Wheeler, it's that he doesn't let you mess with the people that he loves. How did Rourke die? Rip Wheeler finds the former Market Equities rancher on his own while fishing in a stream. The scene was particularly ironic considering this was how Rourke Morris was introduced to Yellowstone at the start of Season 3. Rip approached Rourke and the latter seems dismissive to Rip's presence altogether. This is when viewers noticed the sinister aura that surrounded Rip Wheeler. The character repeatedly asked Rourke if the cooler he was carrying belonged to him. Rourke replied that it did not. Once or twice would have been enough, but Rip was insistent that the cooler belonged to Rourke. Rourke became annoyed at the question after it was repeated for the nth time. This is when viewers realized that Rip would shake the cooler as he asked Rourke whose now seemingly repetitive question. Viewers and the show's central antagonist realized something was very wrong, and that's when Rip opened up the cooler to reveal an agitated snake. All it took was a minute, and the venomous snake latched on a Rourke, who promptly fell to the ground. Good riddance, said Rip as he left Rourke Morris convulsing on the ground with foam coming from his mouth. Safe to say that Rourke Morris won't be seen for the remainder of the show. What did Rourke have to do with the Duttons? When Rourke Morris was first introduced in Season 3, fans immediately realized the hedge fund manager was there to terrorize the Duttons. They were right, Rourke hired Wade Morrow, John Dutton's old enemy, to terrorize the man's ranch and cause much of the agitation that John faced in Season 3. However, fans aren't exactly sure what Rourke had to do with the bloodshed in the Season 3 finale. While he was admittedly not a fan of the Duttons, there's little to no evidence connecting Season 3's primal antagonist with the shootings or bombings in the finale. Do you think Rourke had to die? Well, now that's a loaded question, isn't it? If you're a fan of Paramount Studios' western melodrama Yellowstone, you wouldn't necessarily be a fan of Rourke. 
The man had been the culprit behind much of the agony that the primary cast faced in season 3. Did we wish Rourke would be put into his place? Yes. Did we necessarily wish it had to be a grave? Not necessarily. Fans were left divided over the character's sudden demise. Some of them seemed thrilled, while others believed that the character deserved a better ending. Yay, Rourke is gone. That was a fitting end for Rourke. He was a snake. LOL, commented one user on Reddit. He was my favorite villain so far, and it was so quick and blah. I expected at least a few more episodes with him, commented another. One thing's for sure though, fans were pleased that the character had met his comeuppance. Did he receive it in a way that was befitting to his role in all of season 3? Well, that's what the arguments are about. What lies ahead for Josh Holloway? Notwithstanding how much fans of Yellowstone hated Rourke Morris, everyone loved Josh Holloway for his charming his way through every single scene, even as an on-screen bad guy. The former Lost Star was an asset to have on the show and will surely be remembered as one of the best villains in television history. Unexpected but welcomed was what one commentator had to say about the hedge fund manager's death and we couldn't agree more. However, was it the writer's decision to part ways with Rourke Morris or was it the actor's? It very well could have been a mutual decision. On one hand, Rourke had done his part throughout season 3 and it only seemed logical to put an end to the character's role. On the other hand, Josh Holloway was cast as the lead in the new HBO Max series, Duster. All we know for sure is that Rourke Morris will not be making a comeback. What can you expect from season 4 of Yellowstone? After the plot twist right in the premiere, we don't know what to expect in the season moving forward. What we do know for sure is that the series can't continue on without another antagonist. Yellowstone isn't a happy-go-lucky series where everything magically falls into place. With Rourke out of the way, Jackie Weaver will be making an appearance as Caroline Warner, the CEO of an investment company who's headed to Montana. Weaver is a decorated Australian actress who has received global recognition for her roles in Animal Kingdom and Silver Linings Playbook. Other characters who are set to make a breakthrough in Season 4 are Piper Parabo's Summer Higgins and Finn Little's Carter. The former joined the Assembly cast as an activist, and the latter is a new kid the Duttons agree to take into their home. What does the cast have to say about Season 4? Josh Holloway is yet to comment on the untimely death of his character, but several other cast members have given their two cents about what lies ahead in Yellowstone, as we move towards a brand new season with new recurring characters. Wes Bentley, who plays Jamie, remarked, Where does Jamie end up? I'd like to know. I'm also excited to see who he really is because he spent his whole life not really being himself. I think we're starting to get pieces of that now, so I think it's going to be really interesting to see. Unless the writers decide to give us any more unexpected plot twists, Wes Bentley, Kelly Riley, Luke Grimes, Cole Hauser, Kelsey Asbill, Forey J. Smith, and Denim Richards are likely to remain throughout the entirety of Season 4. And with that, we'll be ending this video, but what did you think about Rourke's death? Do you think there will be more bloodshed to follow? If yes, who do you think is going to be the show's next target? Be sure to comment down below. And as always, like and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you soon.